The weird thing about having Fourth uh, of July on a Thursday mm -hmm. is that no one's quite sure when to actually have the fucking fireworks. Because all weekend, shit was blowing up around here. Thursday, fireworks Shit's fucking go off. Friday. Blowing up around here. So people were still saying Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, motherfuckers were setting off fireworks. The, the professional fireworks were going off. I'm like, just get on the same page, people, because otherwise it looks like Baghdad here. For fuck's sake. Yeah, it's been pretty loud here for about a week solid. There's a place like down the block for me that actually sells fireworks like out of a parking lot of the sea town. Is it in one of those metal sheds? No, they use tent. Because they're only there for like July, like the end of June and July, and then they pack up and leave town. So they literally are in like a tent. See, down here, they have like a little metal trailer, like a shed on wheels that like opens no, they up just, like they just straight up put up a tent. No, this is a this is a small metal container full of fireworks and one person. That's just and what I like was they had a big banner that read fireworks and then they had another big banner that read half price explosives. You know, if you're going to spend on explosives, get quality is what I think you should do. And I was like, in this day and age, do we really want to advertise using the word explosives? Well, you know what happens when you get the half price explosives, right? Dude, you've got some arts on you. Dude, you've got some arts on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you use the... the they sell their, their fireworks out of a tent right next to the uh, day spa that got closed down a few years back for being a brothel run by an 88-year-old madam. Man, you know what? The, the, they were... You got the day spa. When I was in Florida, yes, I lived in Florida for a year, they had lingerie modeling. Yeah, there was like, these little little places in a strip mall you, that men would go in supposedly to see women model lingerie that they were going to purchase. And in fact, they were going in to, to get. Did anybody actually believe that? For a while, people believe for a while, then they all got the fuck busted. It was magic. How did anybody believe that for even a day? Florida. Oh, right. Yeah, there you go. This and we are starting with 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 Florida this week because this is the story that everyone they saw and they sent it straight to me. And that that's where we're going tonight, because this one is. I think this this is probably one of those. Is it just are, are we done with Florida now? At this point, that, that's that's kind of what the story says to me. Um, I don't ever really be done. No, Florida. Well, let's get us started. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this one... Crazy. I'm I live in a world... I, I know people don't understand computers. I know this. I live with this daily. This is why I am tech support for anyone I know or my few relatives. They, it's, it's, if anything breaks, they call me because people don't understand fucking computers. But this one, this one kind of, it, this, they, they really go above and beyond on not understanding shit because it's Florida. So, um, apparently they've been having problems with, um, internet cafes and internet gambling. Uh -huh. In Florida, so their 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 solution was to ban all internet cafes. Obviously, they except they bad law, badly worded law, because Florida accidentally banned all computers, smartphones in the state through internet cafe ban. Um, in April, Florida Governor Rick Scott approved a ban on slot machines and internet cafes. Uh, Let's after a charity title, Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Candle was shut down on suspicion of being internet gambling front. I, I think you sent me the wrong link. I did. Hold on. Let me send you the right one. <laughs> I might. Th th that might be a different. We have many. We have many tonight. You sent me a very different link. Yeah, we'll get to that one. There, there you go. Um, 
The Florida's 1,000 internet cafes were shut down immediately, including Miami Days Incredible Investments, a cafe that provides online services to migrant workers. The owner, uh, Consuelo Zapata, is now suing the state after her legal team found out that the ban was so hastily worded that it can be applied to any computer or device connected to the internet. The ban defines illegal slot machines as, quote, system or network of devices that may be used in a game of chance. Voting booths? Abacus! They have outlawed the fucking abacus! Have we made it so Florida doesn't get to take part in elections anymore? Because that might not be the worst thing. Fuck yes! So pretty much what has happened here is Florida has removed itself entirely from the internet. And if you are in Florida right now and you're watching this show, you are breaking the law. And you're going to Doesn't jail. Doesn't that kind of also ban the lottery? Yes, it does. Which is a major source of revenue yes, for most states? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, thank you, Florida. I would like to thank you, and I would like to personally thank Governor Rick Scott for removing Florida from the internet. Thank them. We're out of a job now. <laughs> 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 We're out of a job. <laughs> God. Maybe that was the plan. Maybe, maybe they were the like, plan. maybe this wasn't a mistake. Maybe they were like, we need a way for the internet to stop making fun of us. Yeah. We need Florida to go off the fucking grid for a while. So everyone can start making fun of somebody else. You know, technically. A, a system or network of devices do you know how broadly that can be applied? Neurons. Neurons are a system of devices. And if you are connected to the Internet, you are now illegal in Florida. People, Florida has outlawed humanity. <laughs> that don't matter because when you cross that border, your brain is checked. I mean, we haven't actually developed like neural networks. No, yet, but so. no cells. It, it still counts. It's organic, but it's still a system of devices. They have outlawed people or actually. No, no, no. I, I, it says connected that can be connected to the Internet. Yes. You can't connect your brain to the Internet. I am connected to the Internet right now. I am ta I am interacting and I am yes, connected by my. Like we're not like doing the kill switch. Broad, badly worded law. This is what happens when idiots write laws. They have now outlawed brains. Florida has made having a brain illegal. But bestiality is still legal. There, but right? bestiality, yes. You can fuck a donkey, but you can't think in Florida. <laughs> well, yes. You act like we didn't know that already. <sighs> and nothing of value was lost. Yeah. That this makes so much sense. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they kind of outlawed the state lottery. Yes, they did. They didn't That's think that was a huge was revenue stream for most states. That's going to be a problem. Well, no, it's not, because normally the, 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 the lottery goes to education. And since they've outlawed brains, problem solved itself. Just all comes back around again. <laughs> So that that is not the only technology I don't fucking understand story tonight. This one actually comes from a, a site I read often. I encourage you all to read it. It's called Ars Technica. But yes, they had a stupid, stupid story. Um, D, all right. You, you use a Mac, right? Yes. But even you understand what malware is, right? Yes. OK, it's a program that you can get on your system that can run malicious code or take control it's of your system. Bad. It's, it's bad. Mobile. Right. And you understand that it's, it's a piece of software. It's, it's not a thing. It's not a little squiggly thing that gets in your computer and starts replicating. It's, it's not an actual virus. You laugh. I had that happen once. I had a roach lay eggs in my C drive in my college laptop. You've always got something. My know. dorm had roaches and one of them laid eggs in my C drive. I had a little squiggly thing get in my computer and fuck it up. Well, I guess this U.S. agency has a solution for your problem there. 
Um, U.S. agency baffled by modern technology destroys mice to get rid of viruses. One hundred and seventy thousand dollars of PCs, printers, keyboards, cameras and mice destroyed. Gross overreaction. Um, the Economic Development Administration is the agency in the Department of Commerce that promotes economic development in regions of the U.S. suffering low growth, low employment and other economic problems. Um, the EDA in in uh, December, Department of Homeland Security notified the EDA and the National Oceanic, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that there was potential malware infection with the two agency systems. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration isolated and cleared the problem with a few weeks. The EDA, however, responded by cutting its systems off from the rest of the world, disabling its enterprise email system and leaving its regional offices no way of accessing centrally held database. It then recruited an outside security contractor to look for malware and provide assurances that not only were EDA systems clean, but they were also pregnant against malware. EDA CIO, feeling that the, fearing that the agency was under attack from a nation state, instead in, insisted instead on a policy of physical destruction. The EDA destroyed not only uninfected desktop computers, but also printers, cameras, keyboards, and even mice. The destruction only stopped, sparing $3 million of equipment because the agency had run out of money to pay for destroying the hardware. The cost of the taxpayer of the incident was $2.7 million. And you know... If they had just watched Office Space, they would know that a couple of disgruntled employees would have done that shit for free. Just for the pleasure of doing it. 2.7 million. Because they were scared the computer had a virus. Files are in the computer? <laughs> This is you remember back in the 90s when everyone used to think the Internet was a place you could go to and all the movies were like, you know, let's go to the Internet. And they'd go in yeah. to the computer and shit. And I, no, it's not like that. It's really not like that. And, you know, the irony, you destroy all these computers. You get new computers, you hook them up to the same network. You're still going to have the malware and and. They have Windows 8 on them, so you're double fucked. Just run like Norton. Yes. Fuck's sake. Th this is a lot cheaper than wrecking all your shit. The very the very fact that someone who can be running a government agency like this. Isn't that scary? Does not understand how computer work. And this is what what you said it was the atmospheric oceanic and atmospheric. They so, got it. No, the, the NOAA, they got it. They, the people okay. who track the hurricanes, they're like, no, we know it. No, it's the Economic Development Administration. These people are supposed to make economic growth in low in low growth regions of the U.S. to handle low unemployment. I think we've discovered the employment problem. They're breaking their fucking computers. That's why we're not getting any goddamn help. That, that concerns me. Yeah, this is concerned me too. But speaking of concerning, get ready to be, I think we're going to escalate from concern to pissed right the fuck off. I know you're going to get pissed right the fuck off at this story. Um, this comes from uh, Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. Um, I have, with a significant other, gone to an adult store to look for items for, you know, couples. But you know what I don't, you know who I don't bring with me? Your mom? Close! A baby! Couple leaves baby alone in car while shopping for sex toys. And I gotta, look at this headline, people. I did Couple leaves baby alone in car at while shopping for sex toys. <laughs> you got a typo in your headline to start there. Ooh, you touch my tra la la. A Wisconsin couple is facing misdemeanor child endangerment charges for leaving their baby in a parked car while they shop for sex toys in northern Illinois. Um, 
Wednesday, the parents were shopping at Lover's Lane. Uh, Libertyville uh, police said the couple left their nine month old son in the sweltering car for 20 minutes without air conditioning. Police said the baby was crying and sweating profusely. They say he doesn't appear to have suffered any long term effects. The father is an 18 year old from Kenosha. The mother is a 20 year old from Pleasant Prairie. They told police they left the boy inside the car because no one under the age of 18 is allowed inside the store. You know, I, I, I feel like they probably would have made an exception. I don't think your infant is going to cause a problem. Yeah, when an infant looks at tits, he's got an entirely different frame of reference for those things. Now, granted, like, I don't know if you follow the blog, Shut the Fuck Up Parents. No, but I should. It sounds it's like I should. A whole, it's a whole blog about parents who, like, overshare on Facebook. Yeah. You know, every, oh, so-and-so pooped on the potty. Hooray, let me take a picture of the poop in the potty. And one of them had a complaint from a woman who was shopping at the adult store and um, someone else had a baby in there and she was super offended by it, which is ridiculous, by the way, because babies happen. And they, babies happen because you went to the fucking adult store. So and unless you're planning on using whatever you buy there while you're there, the presence of that baby is going to affect right. you none. So suck it up. Just just consider it like a showroom. It's like this is what you'll be getting nine months from now. One of these. Or, just, you know, consider an endorsement from a couple of satisfied customers. Oh, true. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But the but, best option was leaving, not going home. Not one of them coming back instead of both of them coming back, not finding a babysitter. No, the car. And I've mentioned this before. When I when you were young, did you see those commercials? I, I, I looked for them on the Internet. If anyone could find them. I've got to have them because they are so just dramatic. The commercial was on a hot day. The inside of your car can reach a temperature that can fry a dog's brain. Well, they just did a veterinarian just did a bit. One of my friends posted this Facebook where he spent 30 minutes in a hot in a car with no air conditioning sealed up. And he barely lasted 30 minutes. Like an adult human was like ready to pass out after yeah. 30 minutes in an unair conditioned car because cars are metal and metal's a conductor and you basically left your child out in the heat in a fucking pot yes. to boil it. Yes. And um unless unless you're making baby stew, no. Maybe maybe until you figure out how to care for the baby you already made. Stop fucking. Yeah, maybe that. I mean, I don't want to say that because then you get into all kinds of reproductive rights issues and I don't want, you know, people have the right to play with their jibblies and that's fine. Have fun. Do your thing. But. No, I disagree. Stop fucking. Try to as much as possible. Be a functional and conscientious human being for the love of God, especially when you're in care of another human being. I don't think that's too much to ask. Maybe don't murder your child in the in the process of trying to get your freak on. Catch catch how much I'm about to stretch for this next segue. Um, you know who wasn't a good and conscientious human being? Hitler. Oh my God! You know me. We're like we're clicked. We're like in sync now. You know me. Um. Oh. So you remember that Hitler? Oh my God! I was right. Remember that Hitler sheet we talked about a while back in Thailand, where they were like, "Oh Hitler!" They put they were like putting Hitler's face on things. Well, oh, oh, here you have kids getting the the ironic Hitler haircut, which I don't get. I don't know why that's attractive. Whatever hipsters. Well, now you have Hitler chicken. KFC threatens lawsuit over Hitler chicken restaurant. Logo replaces what? head of Colonel Sanders with that of Adolf Hitler. Now they have an interesting way of cooking the chicken. They bring it into a shower. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. I am in so much trouble. I am in, I, hi, everybody. I love you. 
No, what's funny oh. is that the, the chicken at these restaurants I hear doesn't have a lot of meat on it. It's almost like it's been starved. <laughs> We're in trouble now. Yay! We're in trouble. I'm just waiting for all of my... I have, I have Jewish friends, and they're going to be like, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm very sorry. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, the store is called Hitler, and it recently opened its doors in Bangkok, and a sports storefront emblem, uh, very similar to the... Uh, it sports a storefront emblem, very similar to the American Kentucky uh, Fried Chicken chain, but instead of Colonel Sanders, its logo features the head of Adolf Hitler, complete with apron and bow tie. And I got to put that one up on the big screen. You got to see this shit because this is just this is this is amazing. I, I, you know what? I would be walking by that on the street and go, you know what? I, I suddenly want some chicken. And I, I suddenly I suddenly I'm walking by that on the street and suddenly never want chicken again. Yeah. You know, um, like I hate myself an awful lot for just making that joke. This, this is, this, this is, this, this last line of this story is going to kill you. Alan Robertson, a 43 year old Bangkok resident told the daily mail, he thought the chicken was quote, pretty good. And he said a server told him the proprietors considered Hitler a quote, good image. I mean, it's recognizable image. It's iconic. That's for damn sure. What the hell does Hitler have to do with chicken? Like, if it was like Hitler's schnitzel shack, I could understand. Is fried chicken big in Germany? I don't think so. I, and they don't. And the stories that even call Hitler chicken is just called Hitler. Like Bono, you know, it's just it's just Hitler. But what the fuck does Hitler have to do with chicken? I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, at least you could make a case for like Pol Pot pies. Oh, oh, Pol Pot pie. Oh, what the fuck does Hitler have to do with chicken? It oh. doesn't even make sense. Not only is it horribly offensive, it doesn't even make any. No, sense. it doesn't. Hitler has nothing to do with the chicken. And there has to do with many things. I could see, you know, nothing people want to buy, at least not here. I know in Asia, that's kind of a thing. And I don't know that I get it, but I know they're so mad at me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're mad at me, too. I but mean. So I either. Yeah, there's I'm someone in the person. I'm really not. I, Gomer in the channel points this out. So either. This is real or the Thailand is trolling the whole fucking world. I, I just I, I, I just don't get why you would think this was a good idea. I mean, I suppose you could make an argument that he probably used chicken fat to keep that hairdo in place. But that's kind of a stretch. A little bit of a stretch. Speaking of stretches. Wow, I'm getting this is this was a segue. Oh, my God, you, you just handed that one to me. Um, It's been a while since we've had one of these stories. It's been a while of, since we've had a definitive that doesn't go there story. We have a definitive that doesn't go their story. Um, what would you say the upper limit for uh, smuggling uh, drugs in the human body would be? Uh, 10 ounces, 12, maybe? Well, we've done stories with more than that, haven't we? Yeah. Well, we, we've got one tonight that's definitely speaking of stretching. God, have, speaking a of woman stretching. had like 50 pounds of stuff in her stomach. This With wasn't a whole, that horrible x-ray. This wasn't a stomach. Woman arrested carrying one pound of meth in pelvis. That's Pos not an organ. Pob possibly deciding to follow advice on different uses for condoms. A woman from Arizona has been arrested on suspicion of trying to smuggle over a pound of methamphetamine 
in her pelvis. Uh, 31-year-old Claudia Ibarra had to have the package surgically removed. She was initially taken into custody after being patted down by U.S. Custom agents at the Port of San Luis. No, 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 no. Read the line you skipped. Because they're trying to be funny and I don't like it. Unfortunately, how Marquez and God, it's a meth baby section and the world is a sadder place for it. Agents realized there was something slightly amiss with Ibarra's bump after giving her a bit of a pat down and upon scanning, realizing it wasn't so much a Joris bun in the oven, but a rather a large black package crammed with meth that had been double wrapped in condoms. So they like surgically. I don't think surgically. I, I don't know. Actually, the story it doesn't, doesn't say it was in any part of her digestive tract. Just yeah. Yeah. This, which makes me think they just like crammed it in there surgically. It got in there somehow. That's all we know. I really, I really need people to stop transporting things inside their person. I really need people to stop swallowing things and shoving things in places they don't go and cutting themselves open and giving themselves breast implants full of cocaine. I really need people to stop doing this. My sanity can't take it. I'm starting to make Hitler jokes for God's sakes. I can't take this shit anymore. (laughs) I saw a hashtag on Twitter, if my vagina was a gun. And my first thought wasn't even like a reproductive rights issue. It was, oh, I remember that story. (laughs) My brain is breaking down. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. I used to be such a nice girl. You are a nice girl. You're just a nice girl full of crazy shit in your head. All we know in this whole story is that at one point she was not full of meth. And then at another point she was. So somewhere in between there, meth was introduced. And that's, that's another thing. If, if, if you have a pound of this stuff and it starts leaking. You're dead. But you're going to be either you're dead or you're going to start vibrating so fast you go back in time. <sighs> I'm missing five to ten pages of the story, clearly. I know. I just, <sighs> I, I really, I just need people to stop doing this. Oh God, I, there's a picture. Don't not do it because it's legal. Do it because you're hurting me. Guys, 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 there's a picture. There's a picture, I'm not guys. Looking at the picture. There's a pic. That was, that, that came out of her. Wow. Wow. I mean, maybe an argument could be made because I've been watching a lot of Fringe lately that by some weird accident of science, she wound up pregnant with a bunch of meth. (laughs) That sounds like something Walter could explain. It does. I mean, I learned today that my cluster headaches can be treated with LSD. So it's crazy world. Drugs do things, but I kind of doubt it. You, you, I kind of doubt she was actually pregnant with a meth baby. You, you keep throwing me my my segues here, because speaking of drugs can do interesting things. Um, do you know do you know what track marks are? Yes. Yeah, that's that's when uh, for those of you who don't know, that's when if you start shooting up a whole bunch, you get a bunch of holes here and here. So what they do to disguise it is they start injecting the heroin into other places, like between like your their, toes and their eyeballs. And your eye, yeah, people inject in their eyeballs and under their tongue. Yeah, under the tongue. This guy. Um, I know this because my mother was a substance abuse counselor, not because I do heroin. I just want to put that on the record. Just on the record. Well, our next story, uh, this guy found yet another. This will definitely hide the track marks. Definitely. This is gonna this this is gonna yeah, this is the story you sent me. Yeah. Sent yeah. Me story. Man caught injecting jugs drugs into his own genitals. <laughs> I love I love how the headline has to specify caught injecting drugs into his own genitals at theater. Just so you didn't think he was just running around injecting them into random people's junk. Or you know, his date. 
The Albuquerque man face a judge on don't inject drugs into your date's genitals until like the third date. Third date. Everybody, that's just that's third. just good etiquette. Third, yeah, you know. Um, Albuquerque man faced a judge on Sunday after police said he was caught injecting drugs into his genitals. Police says security at the Century 14 Theater downtown was tipped off that a man was urinating in a bathroom sink. When security found the man, Thomas Ross, they say he had a needle and was injecting something into his groin. Police say Ross had heroin. They took him into possession. I took him into custody. Ross is facing charges of drug possession. And you guys have just got to see this fella. Oh, he's a winner. He Look, is. I, I know that heroin is categorized as an upper. But it's not that kind of upper. You're the best around and nothing's going to ever keep you down. It's not an upper. No, 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 no. It's not an upper. It's yeah, that. I like Catherine. Catherine says the Lone Ranger couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> From what I hear, it actually could. Oh, fuck. Johnny Depp is this. This shit is. I'm going to go inject heroin to my dick. Who's with me? I, I'm curious whether he was actually shooting into it, into the twig or the berries. <laughs> And which would hurt more? I have neither. The berries, berries. I don't. The berries. Okay. The berries. Okay. Good to they, know. Good that's to know. yeah. If if you're gonna go for something, go for the berries. Well, I'm told opiates are actually a downer, but you know what? It was in service of the joke, yeah. and obviously, I don't do heroin because I didn't know that. So uh, I just it it just how did you get to that point where you're sitting there? With a, with, in, a, in a bathroom, in a movie theater bathroom with a syringe of heroin in one hand and your dick in the other, you're going, two great tastes that go great together. How does this happen? I remember, if, speaking of dramatic 80s commercials, there used to be a commercial of a guy, like, um, rooting around in the dirty, the world's dirtiest bathroom stall. He drops his little vial of cocaine and it rolls behind the toilet and he's like crawling around on the floor behind this disgusting, dirty toilet. And they're like, you know, when you've hit rock bottom. Nope. What concerns me is he didn't even bother going into a stall. No, he's just right there at the sink. Just like, thump. like you're in a public Ba-doo. bathroom. There's huh? a stall. Yeah, kid. With a door that closes and a toilet made for peeing in. And instead, you opted to whip it out and pee in the sink and shoot up right there. Yeah, dads are watching. Dads are getting there with their kids watching Monsters University. They come in the bathroom. It's like, oh, did you like the so son? Yeah, he's like, oh. Yeah, like there are kids in that theater. He's a sex offender now, too. I mean, that's yeah. probably Ooh, his I- problem. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it bad when you say, wow, he's a sex offender and that's the least of his problems? When that's like, the least of your problems, you got problems. Like if you need to shoot up into your dick, at least use a stall. That's just common courtesy. If you need to shoot up into your dick, stop shooting up. Stop shooting up, I think, is a good rule to live by no, no matter what. No, no, if you've gotten if, to the point where anybody watching this right now is shooting up heroin, stop doing that. It's bad for you. It's not going to help you in the long run. But when, when you have gotten to the point where you're putting heroin in your dick. Stop! That's got to be a low. Ugh. God, I think that's the first thing we've we've just stopped injecting shit in yourself. God, if not in the not in your dick. I mean, I don't even get the people that pierce their dick. I I feel like any for if you're putting a needle through your dick for any reason. <laughs> who was the guy who came up with? Who was the guy who woke up one morning and said, "You know what? You know what I'm going to do today." I'm going to take a really sharp rod of metal and shoot it straight through my junk. That's what my day is going to be all about. And I'm sure we have at least one viewer with a pierced dick who's really offended. Right hey, now. I, I've got a thing in my dick. Shut up. And I will tell you, I, I feel bad about the terrible Holocaust joke. I feel not a bit bad about offending the mm. penis piercers. Mm. Yes. Uh, the, the, the penis piercing demographic. 
I used to work with a girl who had this boyfriend who had so many piercings in his dick, he jingled when he walked. And they had to buy special condoms that would accommodate his row of rings. And I'm like, what's the appeal of that? It just seems like you need a tetanus shot every week. He literally, like, he jingled when he walked by. And I'm like, I, that would, no, get that thing away from me. It's bionic. I don't. At what point does it start getting fun? Cutting on people's faces. Where does that get fun? Ladies, if you need your man to have a veritable arsenal of metal in his equipment, see your gynecologist. There's a problem. Well, I feel like that's going to lead to having a see your gynecologist. You're, that's not somewhere you want tetanus. Because that, that, how would lockjaw work in that circumstance? We don't actually have teeth there. I know, but still. It's a, just, never mind. No. We learned this week that uh, Hitler shows up in the darndest places. There you, there we learned this week that I think we've hit the metaphorical chasing the vial of cocaine around the toilet because that was kind of. That was a low. But God, how I laughed. But seriously, what the fuck does Hitler have to do with chicken? If you're going to be that offensive, at least makes sense. Oh, man, I just got my head this image of a whole flock of chickens walking by. <laughs> Those swastika armbands on their wings. And, and that's not even right because it's called goose stepping. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Uh, we we learned this week that Florida is determined to put us out of a job. Yeah, Florida has it in for us. I get yeah, that's that. <sighs> And if you have if you have a brain right now and you're in Florida, you are illegal. I figured out the Hitler chicken thing. I just figured it out. What? It's the king of Thailand. He's finally coming after you. He wants to get you thrown off the Internet for making disgusting anti-Semitic jokes because you offended him last year. Fuck the king of Thailand. Fuck the king of Thailand. He set us up, man. It's a trap. He set us up the bomb. <laughs> OK, Tara, if I tell you how old that 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 bit is, you're going to hate me. I don't even like I only know it from the Internet. I don't even know what game it's from. It's this many plus this many. The Spice Girl single wannabe is <laughs> 17 years old today. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You can just learn that. We learned that at no point should you be putting things for transport in you. You are not luggage. Even if your skin may be a little leathery, that does not make you a Samsonite. Like, even if you have bags under your eyes because you haven't slept, yes. you don't use them to pack. Yes. Just get an eye cream. Come to me, I sell them. I'll give you a good one. And finally, you are not you are not luggage. Please stop putting things in yourself. It's very upsetting to me. Yeah, yeah. Unless unless, you know, they they, they call you back in the morning, then it's cool. But um, and then he, only if they don't jingle. And finally, we learned that sometimes a babysitter is vital. If you really 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 need the hot and spicy trojans that fucking bad leave the fucking kid at home more more likely i feel like if you just ask the clerk at the sex shop if you can bring your infant in 
they're probably not going to have a problem with it. Like, if it was a toddler who was going to wreck the place and cause a problem, that'd be one thing. It's an infant. They're never going to leave their baby carrier. I have it's, this beautiful you know. image in my head. I have this beautiful image in my head of a four-year-old with a dildo in each hand, screaming and running in circles. Ah! And, then, and that... And he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. And then they get a hold of the flavored lube. And see, <laughs> the difference is I know because I worked at Spencer Gifts, I know what it's like to have children around porn for sale. I have cleaned up the gummy penises because kids <laughs> them and, gotten, and threw them at each other in the store. <laughs> gummy penises. Oh, yeah. Gummy penises, gummy boobs, penis pasta, pe uh, you know, pasta boobs. There's all kinds of edible things. I don't really know why you'd want, like, I don't really ever see myself making somebody boob pasta. No, it's not like it. it that's that's. And really, I mean, does anybody, does anybody in this world want to eat a bowl of penises covered in red sauce? That doesn't conjure appetizing images. That doesn't even conjure sexy images. That conjures images of something Diamanda should be reviewing. And do you really want women associating your penis with teeth? No. This was a weird week. I mean, I suppose you could do penis pasta Alfredo. Oh. Oh. This was a weird fucking week. What I, what my friend and I wanted to do once, they make a, uh, a penis cupcake pan so you can make little cakes shaped like penises. So we wanted to make a bunch of them and put them in little paper bags with little tags that said, eat a bag of dicks and give them to people. I like it. Copyright that shit. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Copyright that shit. Because that you've got an idea. You've got nobody take that. That's her idea. She just out here. Hers. She's going to make a million dollars. Pet rock. Million dollars. This make a bag of dicks. Million dollars. <laughs> 